this computer. Okay, so I am, let's start screen share. Okay, great. Hello, everyone. I am Katie Farner, your superstar director. And tonight I am going to wrap up our social media training month by talking about Canva. Canva is a resource that I was introduced to recently that is really helping me with creating custom graphics for my business. Before I was introduced to Canva, I was doing all of my custom graphics on my phone using apps like Word Swag or Rana Designs. And those apps are amazing and really beneficial when you're on the go. However, when you want to spend more time on a graphic and you, and you also are given many more options. So Canva is something that is when you've got the time to like sit down and you really want to create like a pretty graphic and you maybe you want to do a cover photo for your VIP group or um, whatever. This is a great place to do something like that on the go. Those apps on your phone are great and you can even use Canva on your phone as well. But uh, if I'm going to do Canva, I want to sit down and I want to do it on my computer and that's what I'm on right now. I'm actually on my Mac right now. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys what the free version of Canva looks like. And that's what you're gonna see here. <clears throat> Move this out of the way. I'm gonna minimize and pull this down here. Okay, so I'm gonna go home. So when you are looking at Canva, there are there is a paid version of Canva, and then there's also a free version of Canva. Within the free version of Canva, there are things you can purchase. So you will find that there are lots of free resources in Canva, but there are some other things that you can purchase that'll be like a dollar for this image or, or what have you. And you'll see that here when we get started. But for the most part, a lot of Canva is free. This is what a free version of Canva will look like. And um, once we get through this, I'm gonna show you what a paid version will look like. What I love about Canva is that it saves your designs. You'll see right down here, it says saved generating preview. This is a design that I was playing around with as I was preparing to do um, tonight's training. Um, so it saves your designs, which I love. So you can go back, you can edit it, you can change some words around. Like I actually created on my paid account, I created one invitation that's like a spring themed invitation. So that way I can keep using that same invitation over and over and over with all of my hosts. And I can just go in there and change the contact information and the date and things like that. So that's one of the things I love about Canva is it's super simple to create a beautiful um, image and then continue using that same image throughout a whole catalog season. So when you're actually on the main screen of your um, web, when you're on the main screen of the website, this is what it's going to look like create a design. So you'll see that there are popular design types here on this top row. The next row is social media posts. Next row is documents, like letterhead, for example. You'll see when I show you my paid version, and you might have noticed on our team page, I shared an image of a letterhead that I created and I printed on a notepad. So I can, I can make little notes. Hey, by the way, if you are on, please mute your phone so we can have a nice clear recording. Um, okay, so next row is blogging and ebooks, marketing materials like business cards. You can come in here and design your own business card for free. How awesome is that? You can design a gift certificate. You can see those under marketing materials. Social media and email headers, events. You can create a, a wedding invitation for heaven's sakes or an invitation, of course, to your own open house. And then here's ads. So there's lots of different categories of templates for you to use. I love the templates. So what I was going to show you is the couple that I have used the most. So for me, you guys know I make a lot of YouTube videos. So I have often been using the, where is that? 
I have often been using the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> this is an answer to my prayers. You have no idea how long I was like fiddling around with word swag, trying to find the exact size it needed to be to make a thumbnail. Well, Canva did it all for me. I don't have to think. I just click on this and it's the perfect size for a YouTube thumbnail. Here's YouTube channel art. Here's a Facebook event cover. Here's an email header. Here's a Facebook cover. Those are the ones I've been really utilizing a lot, especially the Facebook cover. And then if you scroll up under social media posts, like this first, this, this first square, that is the best image for you to use if you just want to, if you want an image to post on Facebook, because this social media image, this 800 PX by 800 PX, um, this 800 pixels by 800 pixels, this will look excellent even on a phone for Facebook. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show you one that I was actually um, tinkering around with. You see here where it says all your designs. This is one that I was playing around with as I was preparing for getting on here to talk to you guys. You know, how often do you see little images that other people create where it's like, hey, which warmer would look best in this space? Or hey, which warmer do you like better of these new ones? So I just quickly threw this image together to show you guys an example of one that could be done in minutes. Um, I literally just picked a pretty background that I liked that was subtle that I felt like worked with the warmers, threw the warmers on here and added the text. This literally took me five minutes. It was so simple to throw together. So I'm gonna show you guys um, how to do you know, something, something similar like this. And you might look at this and you might think, yeah, that's super simple. I'm sure I could easily do that. Or maybe you're looking at this and thinking, wow, that looks super overwhelming. Um, it's, it really is so simple once you learn the features of Canva, but this is one literally that I put together in five minutes. So let's go back home and create a design. So let's say that you want to create a cover photo for your VIP page. So we're gonna scroll down to Facebook cover and we're gonna click Facebook cover. I'm gonna close some of these windows. All right, so here we go. This is your design canvas. This is your, your blank canvas and all of your resources to create a beautiful design on the Canva free version. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see Canva layouts. So here are a bunch of layouts where you could literally just click this design and it will move over here. And you could literally just change the text. You could change these images, like you could remove this little, this little item here. And you could plug, say, a Scentsy warmer in there if you wanted to. See? Maybe you want it you can tweak the size of it. So this is something that you can just completely customize. If you don't like the look of it, you could literally just come in here and change the whole background. And you can save these little, little rain droplets. Like there's so much that you can do or you can use the template exactly as they had it. So I'm gonna click undo, 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 undo. And it's gonna bring it back exactly to where it was. That's something that I love as well. So if you did say, in fact, delete that item and you're like, you know what, crap, I actually want that back. You just click undo and it'll add it back in. And one thing you'll notice as we're talking about this template here at the top, it has all the colors that are in your template. So it makes it super convenient for you design wise. When you do start to change the text, you can see here is your text menu. You can see here's the colors and it says document colors. Here are all the colors that are within your document. So that helps to keep the flow of the document that you're working on. So you could change that. If you want the date to be a different color, like maybe you want it to be that light sage green. There you go. Now it's the light sage green. But it still works with the whole general design aesthetic. Isn't that awesome? I love that about the Canva layouts. It really helps to make it look beautiful. So let's go back to layouts. Let's say, eh, we're not really feeling the whole baby shower looking thing. Let's say that you wanna do something with maybe pictures. And you want to um, 
Because I mean, after all, this is your cover photo for your VIP page, right? So keep scrolling, let's keep scrolling. Let's see if there's any templates that we're kind of feeling. Like look how cute this is. Look at this little cocktail party one. That would be so cute. Replace. It would be so cute if you're gonna do like a little sip and sniff. Like how cute is that? I love it. Lots of different options. Wine and chill. This would be so cute for a sip and sniff. Apparently I'm really obsessed with drinking right now. <laughs> My goodness, I keep talking about a sip and sniff, but like this one is super cute. I love the look of this one and you can see it says free. So this is completely free. So you can replace these little images in here if you wanted to replace your images. And then this is where you could add your information about your VIP group. This actually looks kind of similar to the VIP group um, template that I ended up using. This one's super cute too. I really like this one. This one actually looks more like the one I used. So let's do this one. What I really like about this one as well is it's the same thing. You can change each of these images. See the strawberries, the carrots, the cucumbers. Is that cucumbers or is that, I can't tell. I think it's cucumbers. I think it's mini cucumbers. And then the blueberries. So you can literally change each of these little images to be something for your business. So let's say that you, this is the one we're gonna use for our VIP page. So we're now ready to say, all right, I'm ready to fill these images with something relevant to my business. So you can actually click uploads. And this is where you can upload your own images, either from your computer or from social media. So you can see Facebook is an option. So you can actually click your Facebook and it'll pull up some of your own pictures that you've recently posted. So like if I wanted to put, um, I don't know this picture literally I can put that picture right there and there it is and it's just a click and a drag so simple or let's say I wanted to feature the bricks like I can move this one right here whoops didn't work I can move the brick right here and fill it in for some reason it's acting wonky um, click undo okay there we go so you can actually grab your own photos and fill in the spots. Why does it look so weird all of a sudden? Let me go back to the layout that I want. Here we go. All right, so let's go back to uploads. So you can upload photos from your Facebook or you can snag photos from your own um, computer. Like, let's say we want to put this one in here. That's super cute, right? Isn't that cute? And let's say that we want to tweak the crop. You can actually just click crop and then move it to how you want it to be and then click the check. So see now more of the pineapple shows up, whereas before a lot of the pineapple was cut off. So let's say, you know, we want a couple warmers in here and then we also want like some pictures of us. So what if we put that one in there? Let's adjust the crop of that one so it looks a little bit better. Slide it up a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Check. Let's say we're gonna do that. I think that looks decent. All right, so let's go back up here and let's grab, hey, I mean, this is your VIP page, right? So let's make sure that we have some pictures of you in there. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna randomly stick that one in there. Let's see, I think on my desktop I have a, there we go. So see, it pulled that image that I was grabbing from my desktop, and you'll notice over here on the right, there's like a little water line. Once the water line is all the way up to the top, then it's fully downloaded and able to use, which it is now done. So again, I'll click and drag it over here, and there you go. It's not that pretty, but I'm just kind of giving you an example, throwing something together. So you can see how I took a Canva template and plugged my own images into the background. And then now let's change the text. So we'll call it Katie Farner's, if I can type, VIP Sensi Peeps. Now you notice it's getting like to be a funky shape. So up here where you can actually edit the text, 
I'm going to make the font a little smaller. And you can even stretch it out and move this around like, hey, if you want this up here or you want this here. I mean, you have complete, you know, customizability with this, really. Let's see, we'll make it 21. There we go, because I kind of wanted it all in one line. And then if I wanted, like say you wanted your um, title down here. Katie Farner, Sensi, Independent. Actually, I think it'd be Independent Sensi, whoops. Independent, I don't type very fast. Sensi <laughs> Consultant. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't type tonight, y'all independent i'm still misspelling it i n d e p e n d e n t i can spell i promise <laughs> and let's change this to a little bit smaller so for example that would be some text that you would want and let's say you want to change the color let's say you want to match more of the color of my dress all right there you go change that to that and you can change the text like, and it's kind of boring. So up here in the text editing area, you can see there's tons of free text options for you. And this is all completely free, guys. Isn't this awesome? Brusher is actually one of my fave, fave favorites. So if you click on Brusher, you can see it changes it to be Brusher. Hey there, somebody has unmuted their line. Can you please mute? Thank you so much. Um, I actually don't think that looks that great. So like, let's play around with something else. How about this? Let's see what that looks like. No, I don't like that either. How about this? This might be pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. And then, of course, now that we've changed the font, we can make it a little bit bigger because it's totally, yeah, see? I think that's kind of pretty. So you can change your text. And let's say we want to change this too. Let's go up here and let's change it to, let's see. How about, how does this one look? No, it's like invisible. I like that one. For example, see how fast you can throw something like that together? Is it amazing? No, but it's, I mean, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an example. You can even change the background color if you don't like the fact that it's white. You can make it gray, you can make it black, you could make it, you know, teal. If you don't like one of the colors available, you can actually create your own color by using this little cl little color wheel and moving it all around and, and finding the color that is really speaking to what you want to represent. It's interesting how, and you might have heard Jill talk about this, uh, it's so interesting how colors, creating colors for your brand are really, really important because colors speak to so many different things. So this is one example of how you could create a cover photo here on, um, here on Canva, completely for free. Uploading your own images from your computer or from Facebook. And you can see there's actually already some images in here that I uploaded earlier from the workstation. I love the workstation. I mean, look at this. When you log into the workstation and you come over to the marketing tab, the marketing tab is full of beautiful images that are free for us to use. High quality, gorgeous photos that Sensi provides us completely for free to be able to market our business. I mean, we could spend so much time making beautiful imagery with these images that Sensi has given us. And one thing that is really great is a lot of them have the transparent backgrounds, the clear backgrounds. So like if you want images like this, like English breakfast and no place like home and doodle dot images like that, where it's not, for example, these, these that we were, wait, now we're all on those. Hold on. So if you click on product marketing and then warmers and diffusers, that's when you're going to see only images like that with a white clear background. If you click on um, like clean, for example, these are all going to have a clear background. So it's going to be just images for you to uh, use for design purposes. Now, if you want, you see catalog and brochures. So here's where you're going to find actual images of catalogs and brochures. So if you wanted to like create an image and, and ho hold your hand out 
take a picture of yourself holding your hand out and you wanted to edit in like a brand new catalog that you didn't even have in your hands yet, you could do that with Canva. You can have this picture of yourself that you upload into Canva and then you um, add this photo in right above where your hand is. Like it's just so neat all the things that you can do. Consultant logos and labels. So here's logos that you can use as you're creating your designs. Because I want you to remember, anytime you create a design, and anytime you create an image that has product on it, you need to either have your title on there or the Sensi Independent Consultant logo. So here's the logos right here for your um, use. Party page images. Here's images from the party page. Look how beautiful these are. Like, look at these oils. Look at the scent. Look at all of these images. They're absolutely gorgeous. Sensi VIP. So this is to market the VIP program. What was I going to show you? Kids. Here's a bunch of kids images. Now you notice these are not individual images of like the whale, for example. So often when you're creating your own flyers, you're not going to want to use these necessarily. You're probably going to want to use the product marketing down here instead of the business marketing because these are going to have the back, the clear backgrounds. So see, once I click on that, you'll see all of those images again. So you're literally, like earlier, I downloaded Country Light and I, en I downloaded Enjoy the Little Things. So what do I wanna download next? Um, uh, I'm gonna download this one, Swirly Bird, that's new. So here you go, I downloaded that image on my Mac. I'm just going to save image to downloads and then it's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go back into Canva and let's say that, you know, I'm like, you know what, yeah, I wanna add that. You'd click upload your own images and downloads. And there it is right there. And see, now it's uploading. See how easy it is to snag these beautiful pictures and warmers and then add them to your designs. Super easy, and this is all completely free. Let's say I wanna put that in there. There you go, I can do that. So let me go back. Somebody is unmuted, I think. Make sure that you are muted. So it actually will automatically save. It will actually automatically save. But I can see that right now it says unsaved changes. So got to make sure that it saves before I get out of it. And I can actually just download it myself. And so it'll be right here on my computer if I want to save it. And then I know for sure. See, there it is. And look how beautiful and high quality it looks. So I would just file, save to my computer, and then I'm good to go. And then I know for sure that I've got it on my computer. So I'm gonna go back home. And then you can see it's actually generating previews. Somebody is still unmuted. Please double check your phone or if you've logged in, just double check and make sure that you are in fact muted, please. Uh, let's go back to the little nightlight battle one that I had actually started creating earlier. So to create something like this, I actually went ahead and, I wonder if I can undo, or if it's, no, because it's been saved. All right, so let me just show you kind of how I created this one, kind of working backwards. So to start, I picked the background. So you click background, and you can see the background that I picked is here. The background is obviously in, behind the white. So there's so many different free options that you can play with for the background. Tons of different stuff. I actually picked this little one here with the little blue polka dots. I was debating on this one. I thought this one was cute too. So many different options that are free. And if you scroll down further, you'll start to get to the paid section. See this adorable shiplap wall, that's a dollar. So there are some paid ones and you can actually load money to your Canva, even your free Canva account, you can download money to it or upload money to it so that you can pay when you want to use some of these paid things. Oh, that one's cute. I think I actually like that one better than the one I had saved with it, saved it as. Um, so that is how you pick your background. You literally just click background and pick. And if you want to create your own color, again, you would click this little plus sign and you can play with the little color wheel here and, and pick the color that you want if you don't like any of these templates. And then it would just be a solid background. So um, this section right here, the white section, this is actually something that I added in. Otherwise, this would be gone, 
and all of that would just be on top of my background. However, this is actually something that I layered over, so that way I could hide the white backgrounds of those warmers. And there's actually a way that you can eliminate the background in Word, but I didn't feel like going through all of that, all of that. I'm much more like, hey, let me get this done as fast as possible. Um, if you wanna know how to do that, Kimberly Polito's video on editing with Canva will actually walk you through that process. Uh, it's really an awesome video, and it's if you want to watch that, you can actually just go to YouTube and type in Kimberly Pulito, P-U-L-I-T-O, and then just the word Canva, C-A-N-V-A, and you can see her video. Her um, her video is super duper, 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 duper detailed, whereas mine is just kind of more basic, uh, so that's definitely something that you would want to watch at, after you kind of develop the basics, which is what I really <laughs> have done. I've really just developed the basics thus far. So to add this white little overlay that I laid over the background, put that back in place. There we go. So to do that, you actually go to elements. And this is where my mind was blown when I first started using Canva because I was like, holy cow, there is so much in here. Um, I mean, it's unreal. There's a ton of free photos that you can use to market your, your business. Now, of course, not all of them are gonna be any, any what relevant to Scentsy, but like, for example, I made a YouTube cover photo that was for our Facebook Live Thursdays, and I found a photo of like a computer sitting there with like a pad of paper and a pen, and I was like, oh, see, that works great, and so I used it. So in some instances, some of these stock images, these free photos, could actually be beneficial for your business. Uh, so those are available there. If you click on grids, if you click on grids, you will see this is where all of your blank canvases are. So let's say that um, you want to create a completely non, something that no one else would ever have, nothing even close to looking like yours. This is where you would go ahead and do that because you can create your own images and add them into each of these templates. So like, let's say, for example, that you want to create a marketing photo for the limited edition bricks. You know, you could pick like this layout right here. And in the top could be, you know, a picture of all of the bricks. And then in these bottom three pictures could be an individual photo of you holding your three favorites, you know, or whatever. I mean, the ideas are just limitless when you select grids because these are all free templates for you to upload your own photos or your own images that you've created. So like you could come in here and create an image and then plug it into one of these cells and have, you know, it's just, it's just limitless. So that's grids. Frames is kind of the same concept, except this is going to have like a lot more, what's the word, frames. I mean, it's going to have borders and frames that you can customize and play with. I like this one, I've used this one before. So super fun, I mean look, this is like an iPhone. So you could plug an image in there and it looks like an iPhone. It's just really, really awesome stuff in that section as well. Shapes, now this is where I actually went to grab this white background that I have over top of the, far, the foreground, I'm sorry, the white foreground I have over top of the you know, pink background. So I actually just clicked on this little rectangle here, or this little square here, and drug it over, over top, and then made it into the rectangle shape that I wanted. Because you can actually make this, you know, whatever shape you want. It actually started out as a square, like you see over there to the left. And then I went ahead and made it into the rectangle that I wanted it to be. So that's how I did that. So now let's talk about the text. So I literally just clicked text, and when you look, it's so neat. They actually have text combinations that they know work well together. So you don't even have to think. You could literally just click this right here and it would add it to the document. There we go, see? It would add it to the document and then you would just change the text to match what you wanted it to say. So if you wanted Katie over here and Farner over here, you could do that. I love this option. If you feel like you're not so great at finding text styles that work well together, this would be a great place to get started. And so much of this is completely for free. 
Isn't this beautiful? This is just one of my, <laughs> this is like one of my favorite things. I could spend hours on here because there's just so many awesome things you can do. And as you look, like your mind just reels with ideas. It's like, look how adorable this is. So anyway, this is, you can see there's tons of free options and it's just text combinations that look really good together and even just layouts in general that look really good together. Like, like this adorable little stamp. How cute is that? Like I could totally use that on an image of, you know, something having to do with the incentive trip. You know, it's just endless ideas. So let's say that you just want to start from scratch and do your own thing and you don't want to use one of their templates. You would just click add heading. And that's what I did for nightlight battle. So I literally just clicked add heading and then I typed the words. Oh, caps lock. Nightlight battle. Just like that. And then I selected brusher. And then I moved it. I'm just going to delete this one for training purpose. And then I just move it where I want it to be. And you'll notice, you see the little lines that pop up? It helps you make sure that you are getting it centered. So you're not like, oh, it's perfect, just like that, done. <laughs> you're like, oh wait, no, that's not centered. The lines help you ensure that you get that centered in your design so it looks perfect. And you can raise it up, you can raise it down, wherever you want it, wherever you feel like it looks best. Isn't that cool? So then when I'm ready to do this section, I just clicked add subheading because that creates a smaller text field. Just gonna delete that. So then I literally just typed out what I wanted it to say, came up here, picked the font that I liked best. You can change the color of the font if you don't want it to be black. It makes suggestions based on the colors of your design. See, look at that. It picked this color because it knows that it works well with the background that I've selected. So Canva is so intuitive, which is just one of my favorite things. And look, you see here it says change all. What does that do? Huh. Change all, huh? That's interesting, I never noticed that before. See, I'm still learning so much myself about Canva. It's just endless possibilities. So, when I was ready to do these, I just clicked another add subheading. Drug it over here to where I wanted it to be, picked A, or you know, wrote A, and wrote B, and drug them where I wanted them to be. Now remember, like I said earlier, anytime that you're creating a image that's going to have product on it, you need to have either your title or you need to have the Sensi Independent Consultant logo. So let's say that you want the Independent Consultant logo. Go back into the workstation. It's probably gonna log me out. Let me just refresh before it logs me out because I'm sure it will. Hold on, I'm just gonna. I don't want it to refresh everything. Okay, go to marketing. And hey, let me just show you this too. Like, let's say I'm on the home screen. This search bar up here is huge. Like, you can just type in logo there and it's gonna pull up the logo for you. Like, this search bar is my favorite thing in the workstation. All right, so let's say we just want the smallest logo possible. So let's just go with, um, I'm sorry, that's probably an annoying sound. So let's say you just want that logo. Download. Save image to downloads. <laughs> that was dumb. I just downloaded a white logo and I have a white background. <laughs> That's not going to work. So let me download the black one. Save image to downloads. There we go. I hate having a million images, um, a million windows open. So I'm going to close some stuff. All right. So downloads. There's the logo. See? Look it. Now it's uploading it. So you can type out your title like that or you can add the logo. But either one, when you're creating an image with products on it, you need to do the logo or your title. So I'm gonna shrink it down. And then you could add it right here. 
or if you want to shrink it down even more, you could just like put it in a corner if you want it like up here or kind of want it down here. You know, do whatever you want. But see, there we go. Now it looks legit, right? Now it looks so professional. So let's say that you're like, hey, I want to do the nightlight battle again. But I want to do different nightlights. You see this button right here? This will make a duplicate version. So literally, all you'd have to do is you can still have the original design with, you know, tweet. Isn't that called tweet? Yes, tweet. And enjoy the little things. But say you want to pick two different warmers, like sweet. And maybe you don't want to do a nightlight battle. Maybe you want to do I want to move a out of the way. Let's say that you want to do, you know, I don't know, larger warmer battle. I don't know. So we're going to put this one in here instead. See how fast this is? And now I didn't have to start all over again. And I'm creating consistency in my branding, right? Because it's going to look the same as the last one, which is good, right? That's what Jill says, right? Creating consistency in your branding. So we're going to do that. Um, and let's say that I, hmm. oh, well, just for design sake, because I don't have another large one with a, a white background. We're going to do this one even though it's two different warmers, that's fine. So I'd put this in its place. Oh, look, oh no, what did I do? <gasps> look, I covered up the logo. Well, I can just drag it somewhere else, or I can click on the logo and click Arrange and move it forward. And look, you see that? It covered up the white cell. Isn't that cool? So look, if I undo it, I'm just gonna undo the move. See, look. Because of the fact that I added this, see the white cell covers up the logo. So if I don't feel like moving this, if I really liked where it was, I would just click on that and click arrange and click forward. And then it moves it forward over top of the white border that's around that warmer. Isn't that cool? And so obviously I would need to change this. It wouldn't, it wouldn't say nightlight anymore, nightlight battle anymore. It would just say, mm, Battle of the warmers, for example. And then, oh, that's a little funky. I'm going to change the size. There we go. See? Look. And now I've got two of the same exact concept. Well, I have to move this down, but you get the drift. And look at that. See? It shows me when it's lined up. And if I do this, then it's obviously out of alignment. But when I move it down, it shows me where it'll be in proper alignment with the A. So there you go. That's how you can actually duplicate the same image and then you would just start, you know, a whole trend. Okay, so let me um, see if there's anything else that I want to tell you about on the free version. So we talked about uploads, we talked about backgrounds, we talked about the text, talked about the elements. There's also lines. So if you want to like add lines into your design, like, for example, this little well, these little lines. So, so if for whatever reason you wanted to create something that had borders or lines in it, you could do that. So that's what this section is. Illustrations. It's taking a minute to load. Here we go. So illustrations, like, I mean, isn't this cute? Look at all this stuff. Like if you wanted to create a little cute 4th of July themed warmer to feature our new warmer, you could grab this adorable little popsicle and throw this on there somewhere in the design. I mean, it's just, gosh, you look at all this stuff and the ideas just pour in. And so much of this is free. This is a free resource for you to make your business look so professional and so legit, so legit. Aw, Janae, she's so sweet. Okay, so that's illustrations, icons. It's kind of the same idea, except these are, I don't think, as cute, but there's definitely a purpose for them. Charts, this is something new. I haven't even fiddled with this, but if you want to create a chart, this is uh, actually pretty awesome. If you want to create a chart or a graphic, and then I love Canva. This is just interesting. Hmm. I haven't actually fiddled with this one either.
but it looks very similar to illustrations to me. So anyway, um, yeah, I want to just show you the rest of the elements. And then, of course, layouts, like I said. And you can actually search the layouts. Like, let's say that you wanted something with fruit in it. You know, you could type in the word fruit. And any layouts that included fruit would appear. Or let's say that you wanted a layout with stars in the background. So stars involved. You could just search stars. And any layouts that have anything to do with stars, any stars will appear. Isn't that cool? The search feature is really fabulous. So that is Canva free. It says all pages, all changes saved. We're good. So that's Canva free. So let me go back and stop the screen sharing and see if y'all have any questions that you want to ask me about that. Oh, I see some stuff in the chat. I love this, Katie. I just want to play with it. <laughs> I know, right? I love it. I finally feel smart. This is so awesome. Yeah. And I mean, guys, I'm literally, you can unmute yourself if you want to ask me a question or anything. Um, I am so just getting started with this. Like I've only been using Canva for like a month and a half. I haven't even been using it very long myself. So I, I'm just, I know the basics, basics, basics. And if you want, I can show you my, my paid version of it. Uh, so you can kind of see those differences to see if you're interested in paying for it. Um, and of course, if you pay for it, it's a tax write off. So, which is pretty sweet. It's good that we have those. Um, so any questions about anything I've showed you guys so far? Hey, Katie, I would like to see the paid version. Okay. To no make problem. a decision between the free, of course, the free looks pretty good, you know. Seems yeah. like you can do a lot with, with the free, but I would like to see the, the paid version. Absolutely. Too. And I'll okay. tell you guys kind of what that difference is, like why you'd want a paid versus not. Okay. And Shelby, I know I see you're on and you are looking fierce tonight. I'm just saying, what the heck, girl? You are looking good. What have you been up to? Let me unmute myself. I don't have headphones in, so I hope that you guys can hear me. We can hear you good. Kids are jumping on the bed behind me. Um, nothing. I actually didn't brush my hair today. <laughs> you look so good. I love your hair like this. And green is your color. Oh, yeah. Isn't this so cute? I got it at Walmart. It's your color for serious. <laughs> um, but, you know, you, Shelby's actually the very first one who told me about Canva. And um, so as I'm talking and showing them, I don't know if you saw the whole thing, but is there anything else that I forgot to say about the free Canva that I should add? Uh, no, I still use free Canva. I use it every day. I love it. Cheese <laughs> puffs. Oh, cheese puffs. <laughs> <laughs> mac and cheese. Oh, Lots yum. On over here. Lots of cheese. <laughs> That's the best thing to eat. Duh. Um, no, I love it. I love, um, especially for like my VIP group, quiet down, creating like a custom, um, like I just created a VIP group. So mine's like welcome, you know, and things like that. And it's just, it's nice to individually brand yourself by using these kind of programs because you have a signature style that you're drawn to. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I just did with them is I created a custom thank you card. And even though, sorry, even though Vistaprint has like those templates you can use, to be able to create a custom one with Canva, um, I made sure to put on there, check out my VIP group page if you're not a part of it. And then I also told them that, you know, to take a picture and tag me in it on my thank you cards, kind of like the, like Sefi does. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I love them and they're so cute. And I kind of created them to where I can use them for mailer mailers or just to stick in my orders. So I love it for that kind of stuff. But yeah, you pretty much covered everything. Okay, good. Cause you've been using it a lot longer than me. <laughs> so just making sure I didn't forget anything. Um, okay. So any other questions before I show you guys the paid version? No. Okay. So I'll go back. All right, so I'm gonna log out. This is like a little test account that I created to show you guys the, oh wait, I just need to sign in with Facebook. What am I doing? Oh, good, all right, so here we go. Here is my paid account. So here's what I really like about the paid version. Um, 
when you are on the paid version, you see how it says your brand? This is not something that you get on the um, unpaid version. So your brand. This is where you determine your brand colors. So I actually created, I did so a little research and picked, um, did some research about brand color palettes. And this is actually my brand color palette that I am using right now. Now I absolutely plan on adding other color palettes uh, for different things, but I, this color palette really spoke to me. I love, love, love it. And if any of you have gotten the welcome to our group postcard, these are actually the colors that are in that palette. And you'll notice you can add multiple brand color palettes as well. So like you could click add a new palette and then you literally just play with it and find colors that are speaking to you. Like, Ooh, that pink is cute. I like that. Um, so then you can be like, okay, I really like pink and, um, you know, like mint together. So like if you want to play with it and you know, it's, it's just really neat. So you can create your color palettes and do some research on, on that. You can also upload logos. So if you create a logo for your business or you pay to have one created, you can save your, your logos in here. Um, probably my number one favorite thing about the paid version is you can get your own fonts. And Jill talked about that with us um, during our training, how she has her own fonts that she uses. Tuesday script is actually one of them. I said, sorry, you're going to have to get over it. I'm using Tuesday script also because <laughs> um, it's awesome. And it's actually in the Sensi catalog. Uh, she messaged our, um, somebody at home office and the advertising marketing team, I guess, and asked them what fonts were the current fonts in our current catalog. And they told her what the fonts were. So she actually bought those fonts as well. So she has all of those fonts that are current in our catalog. And I know Tuesday script was one of them, but there's like, I think four. So anyway, um, there are lots of places you can go to get fonts. And the reason why I like this is because you have so many more options, obviously with the paid version or obviously with the free version, there were a lot of fonts you saw, there were a lot of fonts, but after you'd start doing a lot of designs, you kind of just feel like, eh. and I like to have a font that is a little more exclusive to my stuff and my branding. So I have actually been using the, the Zuki squash the most. Um, and I would say probably ludicrous. I use those two together a lot, but anyway, um, so to actually get your fonts, like there are websites where you can go and pay for your fonts, um, or there's websites where you can go and get fonts for free, which is awesome. And, uh, like, for example, I don't want to close one of the wrong windows down. This is, here we go. So you can go to dafont.com, and this is a place where you can um, get fonts for free. Like, here we go. Vendetta. This is completely free. You would just click download, and then you'd have it. Messenger Pigeons. You like that font? Cool. Download it. And in a lot of websites, you can actually type certain things that you would typically type often, like your own name, and you can kind of test that out and see how you like that font. Like, hold on, what's the one that, find it one second. There it is, fontbundles.net. This is where I bought my font, fontbundles.net. Nope, that's not it. Creative market, that's what it was. I'm a, I wrote so many things down <laughs> when she was training us on this. Yes, okay, so here we go. This is actually where, no, I don't want this. Leave me alone. Uh, here we go. So here you can see free fonts of the week. All of these fonts are completely free. You can sync it to your Dropbox and save all of your fonts in your Dropbox, which of course Dropbox is free. Um, so you can see these fonts will be gone in three days, three hours, 27 minutes. These fonts will be gone. And if you click fonts, you can see, let's go to popular fonts. So these are font bundles that you can buy. And then there's some individual fonts as well. This is the website that I was talking about where you can actually type it out. Like, let's click on this one. This looks super cute. So if you click Hello Sunshine and you scroll down, you can actually see this is saved from the last time. 
So you can literally type something that you would typically type a lot, like your own name, and see how you like it in this font bundle. So it'll show you every single font that's in this bundle, what it would look like. And you can enlarge it. You can do it in all caps if you want to see what it looks like in all caps. This is a super cute font. I love this one right here, the marker. So anyway, it, this allows you to test it out and try a few different words that you typically would use and see if you want it. If you like it, you can purchase it for 18 bucks. For example, this is one of them. But of course, there's lots of places you can get free fonts like dafont.com and um, fontbundles.net. You can get free fonts there as well. So um, that is where you would get fonts should you want to. And then you would just click upload a new font because you would have downloaded it to your computer, upload a new font, and then grab it from your computer. So that is really like one of the biggest differences that I'm aware of for the um, paid version. Oh, and also when you are creating a design, when you are actually creating a design, your font choice colors, like all of your font options are already pre-saved and up there for you, which is super convenient. So here you can see all of my images that I have made since buying uh, or since getting the paid Canva. So like this is one that I'm sure you guys recognize. Every single week I've just been using the same one. I'm probably just gonna keep using the same one for a little while till I get bored. But this allows me to just come in here, open it up just like this and click where the names are whenever it loads. Click where the names are and just change everybody's names. Whatever names need to be changed. So super convenient, super easy. And you see it was just a free little template right over here. So I just clicked it, used it, and now I've been reusing it for a little while. So I'm gonna go back to all my designs. Um, so like this is my cover photo for my um, business page. So just like Jill encourages, I have a business page and a VIP page. So this is my image for my business page. I literally just threw this together in five minutes. I just grabbed a couple pictures of myself and then a picture of a diffuser that I liked. And you can see my uploads. I, I've tried a few different things. So like this was actually the one that I obviously settled on. So that's my um, cover. Oh, I can't talk. That is my cover photo image for my business page. You can see, like, here's an example of one that I made for a YouTube video thumbnail. Here's another YouTube video thumbnail. Here's another YouTube video thumbnail. YouTube video thumbnail. Um, you might have noticed that in our team page where we have all the different photo albums, I, create, I created custom images for each photo album. So that way the first image would be telling you what the photo album is. I made that right here in Canva with a free template. And every time I needed to make a new one, I just come in here and edit this main portion right here to make it relevant to the, the photo album. Here's my little letterhead that I created here on Canva. And this is again, a free template. This was a free template that I grabbed from right over in here somewhere and just added my name, added my info, and now I printed it on little notepads, which I can show you guys um, <clears throat> if you would like to see it printed. I printed it from Vistaprint. So yeah, I mean, it's just, here's the cover photo that I made for our team page. You might notice every single month our team page, our cover photo highlights all of our trainings that are going on for the month, so that way you can plan ahead and prepare to participate. So this was, again, a free template that I found here. Um, it's somewhere in here, but it's just fast, easy. And this is the invitation that I was telling you about that I um, will just come in here and change my hostess's name and the date and the time and all that stuff. I actually created this for my open house See, this is actually not my information down here at the bottom. This is my last hostess's information. So you can see down there, I just added that, changed the date and time to hers, and I shared that with her so she could, you know, send that out to people. Let's see. Uh, what else? What I want to show you. YouTube thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail. 
see here's our magnets. This is going out to every single group member that joins once a week. It's part of my process. I run my reports, see everybody who joined for the week. And this is actually printed on a magnet through Vistaprint, a postcard magnet. So every single person who joins our group gets this in the mail from me. And I mail it exactly like that as the magnet, not in an envelope or anything. It's so convenient. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is just an image that I made to promote my VIP page. And again, I just grabbed a free, well, this isn't right. This doesn't look right. I don't know why when I printed it. I don't know why that's funky, looking funky. It like shrunk the black box. I don't know. It's weird. Um, oh, where's the front of my You Will Be Missed card? This is the back. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Anyway, here's my VIP page one. I've created quite a lot of stuff since I've had this. And what's cool is you can actually make this a, a clickable link. You see how I've highlighted that box. You actually click link and you'll see, look, here's the link to my PWS. So that allows them to actually click on that button and it'll be a live button to send them. Isn't that neat? Yes, ma'am. Love it. So you literally just click the link, you click on that button and you copy and paste the exact link you want them to be able to use. So that's really cool. I also want to make sure to point this stuff out. I didn't talk about this. So like, let's say that this right here, we'll click on this text right here. If you click the two double uppercase A's, it'll change everything to, I actually like the look of that better. <laughs> um, it'll actually change everything to uppercase. If you click on it again, it'll change it to lowercase. So it's a quick way to just kind of like see like, oh, do I want everything uppercase or lowercase? And some fonts, everything is uppercase anyway. Um, but it's a fun way to be able to see that. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. I used when I was scrolling down, I was like, oh, hey, I like that. I like how it's kind of just like a split so I can have an image of me and then have the other box. And then for this background color, I just kind of tried to go with something similar to the bar because I thought that would be cute together. So yeah, that is my um, paid version of Canva. So let me go back, stop sharing. Okay, um, oh my gosh, you would ask me that. I totally forgot um, what I paid for that. <laughs> Whoops, hold on, let me, let me uh, double check. Does anybody know? I forget how much it even costs. I paid for it all up front, so I didn't, here we go, billing and terms, Canva for work. I'm just gonna Google it. $9.95 per month when paid annually. Yeah, so it's $9.95 per month if you pay it all up front or $12.95 if you pay per month. And of course, it's a tax write-off, so that is a nice benefit. Okay, so any questions, you guys? Anything you wanna ask me about? Does anyone feel like super excited now to go, ready to go in design? I can't wait for tomorrow night when Jesse's in bed to play with the ball. <laughs> Good. Okay, so let me ask this too. Is there anybody sitting here that still feels overwhelmed by Canva? And, and feel free to be honest if, if you do, because I want, I want to make sure that nobody leaves this training feeling intimidated by Canva. My hope is that everyone feels like, no, I, I can do this. So is there anybody who still kind of feels intimidated by it? And so much of it is, is literally just, it's same, same thing with the workstation. Like just be willing to just click, click, click and play and experiment and see what happens when you click this, when you click that. There's still so many features that I'm sure I am not utilizing um, that I'm not even aware of because there's just so much available in Canva. But 
even the free version, like Shelby said earlier, she's been using the free version this whole entire time and she has made a ton of great graphics. So don't feel like you have to go out and get the paid version unless you really want, you know, start with the free for a while. And then if you start to feel like, Hey, I want to have my own, um, brand colors saved and Hey, I want to have my own specific fonts that I always use, then by all means upgrade to the free, but or the paid, but I would say start with the free and, and really start playing around with it and make sure that you're going to utilize it before you invest in the paid version. Oh, Jessica, your dog is so cute. Thank oh. you. He's been sitting here the whole night. He's my fourth <laughs> baby. He doesn't leave me alone. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> Thank you. I'm such a dog freak. It's ridiculous. Hey, Katie, do you know how on, um, on the background, if you're using like a textured printed background, if you can, how you can change the colors of those? Do you mean like something that you're uploading yourself? No. Um, you know, like when you could go, when you went down and you, you chose like one of their pre-printed backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Can you change the color of that? I think I did it accidentally one day, but I don't know how I did it on the paid version. You've changed the color of their background. Is that I, what you're I thinking? swear I think I did. Yeah. But I can't figure out how I did it, so I don't know if I accidentally did it. Not just the not solid color, but the printed color. So, like, hold on, I'm going to go back to screen sharing. So, um, you're saying, let's do YouTube thumbnail. So you're saying under background, not under layouts. So you're saying like one of these backgrounds, like this thing, for example. So you chose that and you wanted it to not be teal, but you wanted it to be, I don't know what, pink? Yeah, so you can go up here and you can select a different color. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. No, no, I'm glad you asked because it's something important to cover. I didn't cover that. But yeah, so like any of these, like this stripe thing here, like let's say you like the horizontal stripes, but you don't want the green. You can come up here and you can make it mint. I swear I did that one day and then I kept, do then I swear I couldn't get it to do it again. I don't know why I couldn't get it to do it again after that. Well, maybe some of them like aren't as easily editable. I don't know. Or maybe I had done something else and then whatever I had done, I couldn't get it to edit after I had done the second. Yeah, and I'm glad whatever. you brought it up because I mean, this is a good thing for people to be able to learn, you know? Yeah. I didn't cover that. So I'm glad that you gives you more options. Yeah. I mean, look how fun this is. Look at all the different color options that you can do with this. And I'm in the paid version. So is this not the case with the free version, Angela? I don't know. I don't know because I have the paid version. Let me, I want to log out and see because I don't want to <clears throat> make people think, Oh, I want to say something else too. Like before I move on, let me say this. Um, so the transparency of something you can change. See this right here, you click transparency. So like if you want it to be more subtle, like you can do that. So you might've noticed on one of my designs, leave page, I don't care about this. Um, so on one of my designs, this one right here, you'll notice that the background photos are kind of blurry. That's because I played with the transparency. That's because I played with the transparency. See, you can make it light, you know, super, super light, or you can make it like full color. So I wanted to show you guys that too, because I think that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let me log out really quick and log back into the free and see if it will let us um, do that, because I think that's interesting. Log in. Oh, trying to remember, I think I did my work email. Hmm. Oh, what password did I do? <laughs> this is this is me constantly. Like, <laughs> what did I? What did I do? What did I do? All right, so let's create a design. Let's play with this on this one and see if it works. Social media background. Just want to see if you guys do have that same versatility. Yep, looks like you do. 
Yep. Okay. So it was just like one of those weird things that I did that day that I did it and then couldn't do it or did something different and wasn't hitting the right thing. So this is awesome. I'm really glad to know that even on the free version, you can change the background. So like if you like the watermelon and you're like, Hey, I want to do something more watermelon -y colored that I think that's way cuter than the way they have it set up. <laughs> I think the actual watermelon color is way cuter. Don't you guys think? Look, at that. Look how cute. It drove me nuts that day because I had done it and I knew that I had done it. And then I could do it. I had no idea what I had done. So, what do you guys think about Canva? Yay. All right. If nobody Love has it. any other questions, then I am going to stop the recording. So, no other questions from anybody about it? Okay. So